hope you are doing well. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Nicole if you're here for the first time and I highly appreciate it if you decide to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you do. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite pasta recipes and it's the filled and baked cannelloni. So I'm going to be using the cannelloni. It is actually called manicotti and I'm going to be filling them with some ground chicken. You can use turkey as well with uh, mushrooms if you don't like mushrooms stick just with the chicken and it's fine if you want a vegetarian version use uh, just the mushrooms and i'm actually gonna be adding some spinach uh, i'm gonna be adding some ricotta cheese shallot onion garlic some lovely parmesan cheese and we're gonna be making homemade marinara using these lovely san marzano uh, tomatoes and basil and lots of garlic and it's delicious so if you want to see how I make this delicious baked pasta please keep watching so first I'm going to start by pre-cooking the cannelloni or the manicotti so prepare a big uh, pot and follow the instructions on your packaging this one says to boil it for nine minutes so I filled up the big pot with water and it's approximately three quarters or half to three quarters full I'm gonna add three teaspoons of salt into this amount and I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and start boiling once it's boiling I'm gonna add the pasta in. so now I'm going to peel and chop nine garlic cloves and I'm gonna be using seven for the marinara sauce and for that I'm going to sliver them and then I'm going to use two garlic cloves for the ricotta filling and for that I'm just going to chop them, fine chop them. So now I have the chopped garlic and the slivered garlic so I'm going to put them each into a separate bowl. Now I'm going to fine chop one shallot onion. So in the meantime the water for the pasta started boiling so I'm going to add it in. Now the pasta has been boiling for approximately one minute. I'm going to turn it down to a little bit over medium and I'm going to stir it a little bit to make sure that the pasta doesn't get stuck together. And doing this only once is enough. So now I'm going to put the chopped shallot onion in my pan already. And I'm going to clean and chop the mushrooms now. So for that I'm going to peel off the top layer of the mushroom because I actually see some mud there and I'm using the baby bella mushrooms today and they really smell beautifully you can use any other mushrooms you like so we're gonna be using the stem as well so I would only cut like the very top chop the mushrooms and it's better if it's smaller pieces because we're going to be sauteing it if the pieces are smaller, they will sauté quicker. And one way to make uh, this recipe or the cooking process a little bit faster is to buy the pre-sliced mushrooms already because then you would just chop them, you don't have to do the cleaning either. And the last ingredients I'm going to use for the filling of the pasta is spinach and i'm gonna just chop off the long stems because i don't like biting into the pasta and then end up with like the long stems so i'm gonna do that i think it's more pleasant actually if the spinach is a little bit chopped so chop off the stems and i'm going to use a big bunch of the spinach so let me just chop it a little bit you can hand chop also So the pasta is cooked, I'm going to drain it through this pasta strainer and I'm just gonna put it aside for now until it's time to start filling it. So for the marinara sauce I have the seven garlic slivered and you're going to need one big can of the San Marzano tomatoes. Let me actually give you the size. This is the big can, so 794 grams on this one. And we're going to be hand squashing or squishing the tomatoes. So put it in. 
and just put your hands in there. This really reminds me always of the scene from Friends where Monica invites Richard over and they start squishing the tomatoes. I love watching Friends. So just squeeze it properly through your fingers. It only takes really like a minute or two and it's done. So let me wash my hands now. And now add one cup of water into the can and just rinse a little bit the sides and we can start cooking the marinara sauce. So for the marinara sauce, put quarter cup of olive oil in a pan, heat it up and when it's heated up we're going to add the garlic. And now that it started sizzling, we're going to add the tomato sauce. Add the water. Add half a teaspoon of dry red chili flakes. One teaspoon of salt. Mix everything. And now submerge a whole basil flour right in the center. So give it an occasional stir. And now keep cooking it for 15 minutes. And for our pasta filling, add a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna saute the shallot onions for approximately three to four minutes. So after about three minutes, add the chopped garlic. Saute the garlic for only like 30 seconds. And add the mushrooms. And now add the ground chicken. Spread the chicken around. And we need to add salt. Add a good amount. A little bit of pepper. Saute the chicken and the mushrooms for a few minutes. So the chicken doesn't have to be fully cooked because we're gonna be baking it in the oven. So I've had it sauteing for about five minutes and I'm gonna turn it off now. And I'm going to add the spinach as the last step. Mix it in and it's just going to soften straight away. So now I'm finishing with the marinara sauce and I'm going to preheat the oven and set it for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So now transfer the chicken mixture in a bowl. So I'm just going to taste a little bit of the mixture. The chicken's not fully cooked, so I wouldn't taste the chicken, but just to see if it needs a little bit more salt. I'm gonna add a little bit, but we are also adding some Parmesan cheese, so that's going to add more saltiness. And now we're going to add the ricotta cheese. So I'm just gonna add the full jar, and now I'm going to grate the Parmesan cheese inside. So there are a lot of steps in this recipe, but it is just so worth it. You can also make the marinara sauce in advance. So add a good amount, because uh, the Parmesan cheese is adding a lot of flavor. And mix it together. So I'm gonna have a tiny little taste again, just of the spoon. So yeah, make sure that you like the taste of the mixture before you add it into the pasta. So now prepare your baking tray and we're going to fill in the pasta. And you can do it either with a spoon, with a teaspoon, or if you have one of these piping bags, you can do it like that and it's just a little bit quicker. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna fold the top. I would slightly turn it at the top so it's not escaping and just start filling the pasta. Oops, I hope I didn't cut it too thick now. And the pasta didn't get stuck together. I didn't put any oil on top of it, but if you want to be sure, you can also coat it slightly with a little bit of olive oil to make sure it doesn't get stuck together. So now the pasta is in and we're going to put the marinara sauce on top. So let me just get the basil leaf out. Oh, it really 
with mean, a little bit of the chili is just perfect. And just cover it. Even if you don't want to cook this whole recipe, you have to try the marinara sauce. I actually have a short video on that, so you can watch it in a few seconds. And now bake the pasta. My instructions say 30 minutes, so I'm gonna put it into the oven for 30 minutes now. So now the pasta has been baking for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna grate a little bit more parmesan on top, and it just smells gorgeous. I can't wait to have this. And I'm just gonna decorate it with small pieces of basil. And this delicious cannelloni dinner is done. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you try this. It tastes amazing. And I see you at the next one. Bye.